Welcome back, everyone, and good afternoon. It is April the 6th, 2021, and we do have some market movers to go over here today. But before we jump into things, I wanted to remind everyone that I do have links in the description, and all those links really help me out, whether they're PayPal tips, affiliate links from TCG Player, or my Patreon account, which I have multiple tiers, and maybe one of those tiers is right for you. So please check them out because they really, really support this channel and help it grow. Okay, with that being said, let's jump into these market movers. Starting to list off here today with Nether Void from Legends. This is a reserve list card, and it is up 5.69% from $759.21 to $802.41. Now, this card does see play mostly in Commander, more recently a Mogus God of Slaughter deck. Okay, and the next card we have on the list to talk about is Tetsuo Umazawa, which is another card from Legends, but it's also another reserve list card. It is up 6.16% today from $160.19 to $170.06. Not quite at its all-time highs, but this card does see a lot of play in Commander, and it is a Commander itself that is a registered copy on MTG Goldfish in a Tetsuo Umazawa deck. Next up is Door of Destinies. This is from Commander 2017. This was printed in a couple other sets as well. This version of the card is up. 6.31% today from $16.80 to $17.86. It does see a lot of play in Commander. More recently, a Sliver Overlord deck and an Edgar Markov deck as well. Cheaper copies are Magic 2014, which is about $16. Contamination from Urza's Saga. This card is up 6.45% today from $44.18 to $47.03. Now, this card does see... Some play, mostly in Commander more recently, a Tegrid God of Fright deck and a Yawgmoth Thran Physician. This card doesn't have any other printing, so that's why it's spiking more aggressively. Temporal Aperture from Urza Saga. This is another reserve list card to talk about today. This is up 6.94% from $21.75 to $23.26, seeing new all-time highs. This card does see play in Commander, more recently a Joria of the Gitu deck. Okay, and the next card we have on the list is Phyrexian Arena. This is a card that we had on the list yesterday. This is the Dual Dex Phyrexia versus the Coalition version of the card, up 8.10% from $15.81 to $17.09, seeing new all-time highs. It does see a lot of play in Commander. More recently, a Turgrid God of Fright deck and a Queen Marchesa deck as well. Okay, next up is Magma Sliver. Again, it wouldn't be a market movers without at least one sliver on the list, and this card is up 8.76% today from $11.87 to $12.91. Sees a lot of play, but most copies of this card are in Sliver Overlord decks as the main commander. Next up is Lavanya Salone from Legends. This is another reserve list card, up 8.82% from $77 to $83.79. Now, I couldn't find any registered copies of this card on any decks at all, but you know what? It is a reserveless card that has a gold border from Legends, and a lot of people collect these cards, especially in near mint condition. Next up is Sylvan Library. This Legends Iconic card is up 9.10% today, from $156.28 to $170.50. Not quite at its all-time highs, but obviously it sees a lot of play in Commander, but also in Vintage and Legacy decks, Teamer Delver and Saltai mid-range as well. Next we have is Baron Master Wizard from Urza Saga. This reserve list card from Urza Saga is up 11.51%, seeing new all-time highs yet again from $45.68 to $50.94. Now it sees most of its play in Commander, and mostly it actually has three copies registered in a CC Weatherlight Captain deck. Fluster Storm from Commander, the original Commander. This card is up 13.90% from $11.51 to $13.11. Now it sees a lot of play in Vintage, specifically in Assault Eye mid-range deck, but there is a cheaper copy of this card that was reprinted in Iconic Masters, and you can get it for about $12 on the market. Next up is Force of Vigor from Modern Horizons. This card is up 16.46% from $8.93 to $10.00. And 40 cents. Now, a lot of Modern Horizons cards have been going up recently, and it may even be worth a video to talk about it. But this card sees a lot of play in Vintage, Salt High, Mid Range decks, and even Amulet Titan decks in Modern as well. Next up, Infernal Tribute from Weatherlight. This is another reserveless card up 18.59% from $13.45 to $15.95, seeing new all time high. 
Now, Weatherlight was a pretty big print run compared to a lot of other reserve list sets, but you know what? It does see a lot of play in Commander this card, specifically in a Turgrid God of Fright deck. Next up, Shatterstorm, the original copy of this card from Antiquities. It was printed in a lot of other sets, but this specific version of the card is up 20.66% from $26.48 to $31.95, and it does see a lot of play, mostly in a Commander deck, which is a Child of Alara deck. Next up is Stifle from Scourge, the original printing of this card. This copy is up 24.02% today from $17.69 to $21.94. It does see a lot of play, mostly in Legacy, Teamer Delver, and even Is It Delver decks, but it also sees a bit of play in Commander. Next up is In the Eye of Chaos from Legends. This is a reserve list card with beautiful art, up 25.34%. From one ninety eight forty seven to two forty eight seventy seven. Now this card does actually surprisingly see play in white green and legacy, but also in an Estrid the Mast deck in Commander. Next on the list is Masticore from Urza's Destiny. This is a reserve list card up thirty point twenty one percent from sixty ninety five to twenty two oh seven with a possible buyout. Now this card does see a little bit of play in a Karn Silver Golem deck but that's really all I could find. Next and last on the list is Sunscorch Regent from Dragons of Tark here. This was printed also in Commander 2017, but this version of the card is at 40.49% from 284 to 399. It sees most of its play in Ur Dragon decks in Commander. Okay, I'm going to talk today again about rising old border foil prices that have been on the list so let's talk about the first one, which is Grinning Demon, Demon from Onslaught. This is a rare that is up 44.10% from $23.38 to $33.69. Symbiotic Deployment from Apocalypse, another old border rare foil, and it is up 45.61% from $239 to $348. Another card with an old border foil. It is an invasion card, a land card that is up 51.10% from 362 to 547, and that is Geothermal Crevice. Okay, Apprentice Necromancer from Urza's Destiny. It is an old border rare foil up 89.21% from $36.99 to $69.99 on its, as its average price. Next up is Thaumatog from Odyssey. This beautiful gold border foil is up 89.66% from $2.03 to $3.85. Next is another gold border foil, another TOG, an ATOG, from Odyssey, Fanta TOG up 145.86% from $1.33 to $3.27. And these old border foils, especially the gold ones, look absolutely stunning, so it's not surprising to see these going up. Okay, so final thoughts on the market. We are getting a lot more reserve list cards are they back? Are the reserve list buyouts back? Possibly. We are seeing a little bit of movement in the market because of Modern Horizon cards. Not so much because of Time Soul Remastered, which is a bit of a surprise because the set has just come out. But you know what? There's a lot of speculation right now. But it looks like the old is still the focus, and it will be for a while. We are getting slivers again on this list today. Not as much as we did yesterday, but we still did have the Magma Sliver on the list. And I imagine for at least another week. At the very least, we'll still see slivers on the list. Okay, I want to remind everyone I do make these videos from Monday to Friday, so if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment, and share your thoughts on the market down below. And with that being said, enjoy the rest of your day. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.